Welcome to the Little Bighorn Map Battle. This is part two in our series of six videos, and I am Bill Smith, your narrator for the series. And now let's get back to our maps and uh, continue on with the unfolding events of June 25th, 1876. Here we are on our second set of maps. We have moved to the left a little and can finally see the Reno Creek headwaters here. Once again, we have the crow's nest at the bottom right of the page, which is in the Wolf Mountains, and we have Davis Creek. Now the seventh has just departed halt number two, which is off the map to the right or east. And Custer brings the seventh down, and here they come. And they cross the Wolf Mountains, and they cross the divide around noon, and then they stop at this point here where the X is. Now at this point, Custer and his regimental adjutant, First Lieutenant William Winter Cook, move off to one side to figure on some paper for a few minutes. Then they come back with orders to divide the regiment. Remember the cavalry is attacking on the fly. Custer knows one village is in the Little Bighorn Valley, but he is not sure if there are other villages in the region. He needs more information on the forward area. To obtain this information, Custer divides the regiment into three parts. The first battalion Custer creates will be commanded by Captain Frederick Benteen, who at this point is at the head of the line. Benteen is given three companies, Company D, Company H, and Company K, and he is given the scout portion of the operation. Custer wants Benteen to go off to the left and scout the high ground south of Reno Creek. Hopefully the captain will get a good view of the Little Bighorn Valley from the high bluffs, because nobody can see anything from the point that they are at now, which is the low-lying Reno Creek headwaters area. So Custer needs more information so he doesn't walk into an ambush or a trap, so he wants to see if Benteen will be able to spot any other Indian villages up and down the Little Bighorn Valley. So Benteen and his three companies is going to be moving off to the left towards some rolling hills, a flat broad plateau, also called Ridge A. We also have Valley Number 1, Valley Number 2, Ridge B, and Valley Number 3. All of these areas will be important on the Benteen Scout and a couple other areas that are not on the map, they're off to the left, will also become important on the scout later on. Custer gives the 2nd Battalion to Major Marcus Albert Reno, the 2nd in command of the 7th Cavalry. Reno gets three companies as well, Company A, Company G, and Company M, and Reno's battalion is going to be moving down Reno Creek with Custer. Custer personally commands the remaining five companies, Company C, Company E, Company F, Company I, and Company L. And Custer and Reno are going to be moving off to the right and follow Reno Creek. The last company under Captain Thomas McDougall is lagging behind escorting the slow-moving pack mules. The packs will cross the divide and follow Custer and Reno down Reno Creek. So at 12.15 p.m. on June 25, 1876, the initial orders and plans are out. Benteen is going to scout to the left. Custer and Reno are going to move down Reno Creek. McDougal, with the pack train and all the supplies that the cavalry needs, will follow Custer and Reno down Reno Creek. So the commands move. Benteen heads to the rolling hills, while Custer and Reno move off to the right. Now almost immediately, Custer sees that the rolling hills culminate with a low, flat, broad plateau, and it is clear that Benteen will not be able to see into the Little Bighorn Valley from that position on the plateau. So he sends the captain supplementary orders through Chief Trumpeter Henry Voss of the headquarters staff. Voss reaches Benteen before he gets to the plateau, and he instructs Benteen to go to the next line of bluffs if he cannot see the Little Bighorn Valley from the plateau. So Voss heads off. Now, no sooner had Voss left than Custer decided to send a second message to Benteen, this time in the form of the regimental sergeant major, William H. Shero. Shero meets Benteen up on the plateau and instructs him that if he can't see the Little Bighorn Valley from the second line of bluffs, he is to go to the third line of bluffs. And as you can see, after giving his information, Shero moves off. Benteen's up on the plateau. Reno and Custer are moving down Reno Creek, and McDougal is slowly following Reno and Custer on Reno Creek as well. Benteen by this point has reached the western edge of the plateau. It is 12.41 p.m. As instructed, he looks to the right down valley number one, sighting Custer and Reno's troops in the distance in Reno Creek. The valley is empty. No Indians are there. 
Venteen also looks off to the west, but he can't see into the Little Bighorn Valley because his view is blocked by the next high ridge to the west, that is Ridge B. So Venteen's scout is not over yet, and he begins to descend the plateau into valley number two to get to the next high bluff. And as you can see, Venteen is now off the map, and we have the pack train which is slowly moving down Reno Creek, and they reform a little bit from time to time and continue on. So now we're going to move to our next set of maps, off to the left or the west, and continue to follow the movements of the 7th Cavalry as they move down toward the Little Bighorn Valley.